And turn now to the mystery surrounding the death of Zappos tycoon Tony Shea, who died more than a week after first responders pulled him from a house fire. There are many unanswered questions about what happened. An investigation is underway. Eva Pilgrim has the details. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, George. This morning we are learning more about that fire, but these new details creating more questions than answers. This morning, questions swirling in the mysterious death of billionaire former Zappos CEO Tony Shea. The 46-year-old died on Friday from injuries sustained in a house fire while visiting family in Connecticut. Fire reported a fire in the building. One person stuck inside. The fire happened more than a week before in the early morning hours of November 18th. According to police, Shea was locked inside a storage area at the back of the home when firefighters arrived. First responders initially radioing someone was barricaded inside. The male is barricaded inside. He's not answering the door. Everyone else is outside the house. They're trying to get him to open up. Minutes later, radioing, the person was trapped. You have a report of a person trapped. You make sure our paramedics respond. He was rushed to a hospital with severe injuries before being transferred to a burn center. The medical examiner attributing his death to smoke inhalation. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Shea was known as the most unconventional boss in America. Hello. Living in a 240 square foot trailer in downtown Las Vegas with his pet alpaca, Marley, just blocks away from Zappos headquarters. You are definitely different than your typical billionaire CEO. I care a lot more about experiences than stuff. His unique business sense on display. In 2009, the Harvard grad sold the online shoe retailer to Amazon for $1.2 billion, but remained on a CEO until this past August. Amazon's Jeff Bezos paying tribute to Shea on Instagram, writing, Your curiosity, vision, and relentless focus on customers leave an indelible mark. Friends say one goal drove him. You know, whether it was selling shoes, whether it was rebuilding a city, whether it was tiny houses, he was always following this obsessive thread of making other people happy. And his family releasing a statement overnight telling us, we are deeply grateful for the outpouring of love and respect shown in the wake of Tony's passing. We hope to carry on his legacy by spreading the tents he lived by, finding joy through meaningful life experiences, inspiring and helping others, and most of all, delivering happiness. Michael. He definitely left his mark, Eva. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.